what other things can we put in place um, so we can make sure we can attract and hire the best talent here? Okay. This is, these are great questions. Let's work uh, backwards. So number one, okay. um, you uh, figured out one of the great secrets, highly talented people. And I'm, I just pulled up Yes Love Weddings. I believe it's yeslovedings.com, correct? Um, well, the new site's at a different location. Okay. Well, I'm showing the old but, one right now. People can see it uh, if you pull up. No, that's this. the old one. That's <laughs> okay. What's the new website? Is it slash something? I can pull it up. Um, yeah, yes dash love dot com. Oh, okay. You got the dash in there. Uh, be careful with that. Yeah. Yes yeah. love. Yes dash love dot com. All right. Yeah, you can fake it till you make it. You'll get yes love at some point. Okay, here we go. So I got it on the screen. Yeah, so somebody has see. it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so let me um, start by saying uh, one new site looks great. Thank and you. what you've realized is that talented people are motivated not just by money. A lot of right. talented people have some thing other than money that might be driving them. So it can be different by person, but one of the things that people value is their families. And so... I know that my friend Dave Goldberg, rest in peace, who was running SurveyMonkey, he told me that he was specifically, while in Silicon Valley, hiring people and telling them, uh, one of our core principles is that family is the most important thing and that we are a family here. And that if you need to pick up your kids from school or take mm -hmm. them or they're sick and take them to the doctor, that comes first. SurveyMonkey will be fine and your coworkers will step up and pick up the slack for you while you're taking care of your family. And we trust you that you're not going to abuse this privilege, et cetera, yada, yada, yada. And that he believed that he could build a company where people didn't have to, you know, they weren't judged by what time they left, 10, right. 11, or 12 p.m. And he had this great success. And he told me, it's amazing. We're getting all these people who don't want to work at Facebook or don't want to work at Uber or don't want to work at Google because they feel they're being judged on a different criteria. So that's great. You've got, you found that insight. Now yes. that does not apply to all people. Some people, they may want to work long hours. So, and they, and they may be driven that way, but what might drive them is um, some type of exciting culture things that happen at work. So it can be a little weird if somebody's getting all of their gratification in life from work, but I can tell you that when we did our scuba drive, diving trip after we did Launch Festival Sydney, it became this mm -hmm. incredible bonding experience for my team. And I found that the team was super high functioning after it. And my initial, um, my initial reason for doing this $30,000 scuba diving trip where I rented a boat and I was going to have eight of the speakers come. So I was like, all right, eight speakers, whatever. I'm dropping three, four dimes per, well, that would be their speaking fee anyway. So I'll just get all these speakers to come to Sydney by offering them the chance to go scuba diving with me on the Great Barrier Reef. It turned out mm -hmm. only one of the speakers wanted to do it. Everybody else canceled. So I took the team because I had the boat rented anyway. And so now I've started thinking, what bucket list item? This is my own personal one. What bucket list item can I provide to my team that would then make them be stoked about working for me? So I was like, well, going on safari in Africa, jumping out of a plane, which nice. I, don't really, <laughs> I don't really want to do that one. But there's a bunch of stuff like that where you could say, that's a bucket list item. Gosh, that would be mm -hmm. incredible to do that. So I, that's what I'm working on right now. The other thing is remote team. So there's a large number of people who want to work remote and they want to make their own hours and they're super effective. So I think for, mm -hmm. you're a bootstrap startup, I know. Yep. You can be super efficient this way, which you just tell people, like, listen, we're not the highest paying gig in the world. Um, we're a scrappy startup and you own that. Yes, Love Weddings is a scrappy startup where we've got a little bit of revenue. We got some great product market fit, but we got a lot of passion for what we're doing. So we hire people who are passionate and who want to, set their own hours, work on a project basis, and, and GSD, we want to get stuff done. Now, what's important is when you define that culture is that you actually define it. Because if you don't define it, then people can run amok. So I have a, I don't have a work from home policy at my companies, uh, launch specifically, but I will let people work from home if they're a high performer, et cetera, um, once in a while if they ask me to. You might, mm -hmm. that might be your default. Hey, work from home, we don't care. I like, the, I like having everybody in the office to sort of 
bond and stuff like that. So when you are defining your culture, it's important that you take the step to define it and you can codify that um, in um, principles. So you can have a mission. Our mission at Yes Love Weddings is to um, take the stress out of weddings and save people money, whatever it is, right? To make it, mm-hmm. you know, the best day possible for any budget. You you pick what you want that mission statement to be. That's outward looking. But your core principles of how you deliver the mission, that's the internal stuff. So let me say that again. You can have a mission statement, like our mission statement is uh, at launch to support founders and, and inspire innovation. Now we have some principles internally, like we never underestimate anyone because we've seen entrepreneurs yeah. like yourself could be grinding it out for three or four years. And then they all of a sudden figure it out. We don't want to be dismissive of anybody. And I hope you've been to a bunch of our events that we've mm-hmm. never, we've always cherished all of the founders who come. We don't underestimate them and we try to help them. So that's the other kind of internal thing is we like, we're hardworking and we take responsibility at our company. So just make sure that you define those internal things and you share them and that people understand this is the mission but these are the okay. guiding principles of working here. And then people can opt in or opt out. Now, if you already have five or 10 people, uh, that's a little bit of an issue because they may not buy into the principles. And now you as the founder have to say, I know we did not have principles and I never said the mission before. <laughs> My bad. Now I'm going to implement them. And by the way, if you're not on board for these, speak up. We can discuss it. But at the end of the day, when we do codify them and they are written down, everybody's going to have to live up to those principles. So if you, uh, you know, don't, you know, want to, um, you know, whatever principle it is that you don't underestimate anybody, you want to underestimate people and only deal with the best people, there's a different company out there for you. So you got to be a strong leader that way. Ah, yes, LinkedIn jobs. I love LinkedIn. I've been spending a ton of time on LinkedIn. I love the new feed, by the way where you can share information and see what your friends are up to. But putting aside their amazing new feed uh, that's highly addictive, I want to talk today about hiring. We all know that hiring is hard. We have many open positions here, and it takes us months to find high-quality candidates. And you know that your business is only as strong as the people you have working for you, like Emmy Award-winning producer Jackie and Jason DeMond, who runs the incubator. We have all these great people here. Well, where are those great people? They're on LinkedIn. It's the world's largest professional network, and it's the best way to find great talent. All that talent is sitting there ready and waiting. Yes, 70% of the U.S. workforce is already on LinkedIn. And if you're hearing my voice, you have a LinkedIn page. I know you do. And that means you also know that you're going to find quality candidates on LinkedIn. Businesses rate LinkedIn jobs 40% higher than job boards at delivering quality candidates. And you know why this is. It's because it's the world's largest professional network. So just ask the hundreds of thousands, yes, hundreds of thousands of businesses that have posted to LinkedIn jobs over the past year. 22 million professionals, and this is the amazing number, view and apply to jobs on LinkedIn every week. I'm not saying 22 million people log on to LinkedIn every week. That would be an amazing number in and of itself. No, 22 million people look at the jobs and apply to the jobs on LinkedIn every week. And that's in every industry. So if you're not using LinkedIn for your hiring needs, you are missing out. Here's your call to action, and this is a good one. I want you to go to linkedin.com slash twist, linkedin.com slash T-W-I-S-T. When you go there, you're going to get a $50 credit towards your first job posting. Think about that. 50 bucks is sitting there waiting for you. So I want you to pull over. I want you to get in front of your computer. I want you to get offline at Blue Bottle or wherever you're having your espresso and go to linkedin.com slash twist, linkedin.com slash twist and get that $50 credit terms and conditions apply of course like any of these things and uh i can tell you we've had an incredible incredible run finding highly talented people on linkedin and using linkedin jobs so get that 50 bucks and give it a shot let me know how it goes for you linkedin.com slash twist hey and go follow me add me as a contact on linkedin you can find me jason calcanis i'm right there and you'll see how often i'm on there i'm posting clips from the show i'm asking questions linkedin is just on fire Uh, So go ahead and go to linkedin.com slash twist for your $50 credit today.